Hello, world. This is Jacob. And I'm Rick. We're in the casualties, and you're watching ESG TV. Welcome to Tech Corner at ESP Guitars. My name is Todd Binder. I'm VP of Product Development, and I'm gonna show you today how to adjust the truss rod on your guitar. Now, the purpose of a truss rod is to adjust the bow in the neck. The truss rod is inside the neck under the nut and extends to about where the neck meets the body. The goal in adjusting your truss rod is to find the right amount of bow in the neck, just a little bit. You just need a slight amount of bow just to give the strings enough room to vibrate freely without causing buzz. Not too much and not too little. Now the guitar we'll be using today is an LTD Deluxe H1001. And on this particular model you can see that the truss rod adjusts from the headstock area. So we're going to need to remove this cover and then we'll access the truss rod nut. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll take a regular Phillips screwdriver and we'll remove one screw on the truss rod cover plate. Now I'm going to use a power screwdriver here, but you can use whatever screwdriver you have. It's a standard Phillips and we just need to remove that one screw, take this cover plate off, and then you can see in here that there's an access hole for adjusting the truss rod. Now the tool we'll use for this is we'll use a four millimeter Allen wrench. That'll adjust most of our LTD instruments. They all have the same adjustment end. And what we'll do in this case, this example, we have a guitar that has too much bow in the neck. So the strings are very high off the neck, very uncomfortable to play in the center area of the neck. So in this case, we're going to tighten, we're going to turn clockwise, which will push up on the neck, bring the strings down, and straighten out the neck. And what we want to achieve is just a slight amount of bow so that the neck plays more evenly up and down. Now, when I put this in, I want to make sure that it's in all the way. A lot of times, you may just put it at the very end and start turning, but you got to be careful about doing that because you could strip the end of the nut inside the truss rod. You don't want to do that. So when we put it in, what we'll do is we'll turn it about a quarter turn is about all you can go with this truss rod tool. And then we'll take it out, and we'll do that again. And I know that I need to turn this one a couple times because it had quite a bit of relief in the neck. What I'll do sometimes is I'll sight down the neck like this. I want to make sure that the neck is straightened out a lot more. You want to see a little bit of a bow, but not, not a big bottom of a boat, not a huge bow. And it looks like I've got it pretty close now to where I'm going to check it another method. The way I'll check the neck now is I will fret it off here at the first fret on the low E string, and I'll fret it off here about the 17th fret where it joins the body. I'll extend my index finger here over the string and I'll keep those two areas pressed down to the frets. I'll see how much of a gap there is between the string and the frets. Now I've got a very, very slight gap and it looks pretty good. What you want to achieve, maybe you can visualize a business card or a little bit less than a business card. That's about the, the gap that you'd want, just a little bit. So this looks about right. I'll check a few notes, just make sure there's no abnormal buzz. And it looks like we're good to go with this one. Sometimes another thing to keep in mind is that if you do play with low action, you're going to want a slight bit of buzz, but what you're going to do is you're going to even out that buzz from the nut area all the way up the neck. So if you have a slight buzz that you hear acoustically, that's okay. Don't worry about that. It won't come out through your amp. And this guitar has been adjusted now, and it's ready to play.